Hey guys, um, looking on Google Maps uh, this morning, found a little lagoon by the looks of things um, over at Warren Beach. It looks like it's not too far from um, the crematorium, so we're just going to find a park over there and yeah, just go for a little bit of a walk and see what we can't find. Would be nice if it's like a nice little clean spot, somewhere you can sort of do a little uh, little cook up or just a day thing. Uh, either way, it's going to be fun to explore. So uh, we'll see you shortly. Ah, well, this sucks. Left the cruiser as far as I could. Uh, made my way down this little track, I suppose, along the main road, uh, and then come to this rubbish. Danger. Entry prohibited. I've looked it up on the maps and it, I'm guessing this is the spot. Uh, I don't know why it's prohibited though. Serious injury or death could result from entering this area. It might just be doing a solid and trying to look out for us. Um, we made it here anyway, we might as well have a little look. Actually quite nice through here too. I mean, it's not like it says there's landmines anywhere. I have been to a spot actually that has warned that there are still active landmines. I think it was a quarry. Anyway, let's see how far we get and hopefully uh, I don't regret bringing, well not bringing the fishing rod. See you soon. Have a look in there for wetlands. Well, that's actually quite cool. I, I didn't even notice it until I turned around the left and I was like, whoa. Yeah, it just goes in forever too. About uh, one and a half kilometers. Say this is an SES trail. There's a lot of them through the island. Obviously, you need to get to a lot of points when 85% of the island's forest. But uh, it's probably about 28 degrees, so nice and cool day for it. There's a beautiful breeze coming through. We are heading towards the eastern side, so the surf side of the island. And I'm guessing it's just bouncing straight off there. crossing at its finest. Not sure if the camera's picking it up that well, but the bottle brush here are just absolutely thriving. That's pretty much all, all bottle brush for, I don't know, 50, 60 meters deep. We've got a couple of them at home. So sort of pretty common here. Now the uh, lorikeets and Parrots just love it. Guessing here uh, when the sun goes down or when the birds are feeding, it should be quite noisy. All right, we're about two k's in. No snakes, no wildlife. Weird. See you soon.
I think we've found it. And uh, yeah, I wish I brought the rod. It's okay, this is just a little secret mission today anyway. Just see what the track is, how far away it is, what it's like. And uh, beautiful place just to have a feed. Wow, the temperatures just dropped like three degrees just standing here. It's beautiful. Check this out. How nice is this little shady spot too? See, there's other tracks that head up that way. Uh, it's a track that I come from, takes me back to the road. Gee, I tell you what. Yeah, so as I said, this is just a little place to suss out. And I wanted to try this uh, little tweak so the family bought me last year as well. Haven't had a chance to get it going yet. This would be the perfect place. Have some uh, noodles by the water. Hey bro, you there? Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, I'm at Warham. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Oh, how good's that? Uh, do you want to go get it today, do you? Yeah. All right, no worries. Um, I'm, I'm just. Uh, do, do you mind if I be like an hour? Is that alright? Ah, perfect. Alright, well, I'll, I'll see you then. Cheers, bro. <sighs> ah. He seemed alright to continue. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, got a little bit of paper bark here. Twigs, hey, twig stove. They call them stick stoves, do they? So, let's see how we go with that.
Yes, I couldn't, uh, couldn't sleep last night. A bit of a headache. So as you do when you've got a headache, you look at the screens. And uh, I didn't prepare for this at all. I just thought, let's just have a look. It's Sunday. Land Cruiser was free. That was my uh, best mate that called before, though. His PlayStation 5 is in. It's about a half an hour trip. Probably 40 minutes, I suppose, from the cruiser now. So I thought I'd just eat these noodles up. My chopstick. And then I'll just have to come back here again, I think. This place is beautiful. I half wonder if. They've put that prohibited sign up. Stop people from camping here. Yeah, it's all not blocked over. It's off at uh, Banksia Beach. So I've actually been to a couple of those trails. The Pine Forest is one of them. I'll uh, put a photo up now. It was real nice. Not a dedicated camping spot, of course, but. Um, it's not, not allowed either, as long as you're respectful and tidy like we always are. And you know, it's just a beautiful place to sleep, to be honest, in the wine forest. Uh, get some really good shots. Again, that was probably, that was just a tester to test my hammock out too, so I didn't bother filming it. Let's get those noodles to stay. Starting to heat up nicely. Twig stove is the bomb. Big log. See that thing. Huge. Noodles in no time. guys ever notice for some strange reason, two minute noodles in the bomb of camping. Right. We have a camp ovens and fun stuff for the heavier camping. You can make some beautiful stews or some beef. Oh, we had beef chow mein one. Yeah, honestly guys, this is definitely potential. Like, I'm really, really loving this spot. It seems so secluded. Uh, good trees around, you know, it's, it is a bit swampy as you come in, but I don't think it's anything that'll bother you once you get up here. 
there's there's all sorts of tracks in in here as you can see and across the lagoon there's this obvious clearing in there and I, I know if you keep heading that way you'll you'll hit the beach that's you know the Bribe Island four wheel drive tracks so I'll definitely come back here for sure um, love to spend the day here to be honest but <clears throat> as you heard mate's PS5 has arrived <laughs> He's pretty keen, so I better drop his truck back. Uh, I might just finish up here and uh, yeah, un I'll pack up all my gear, make sure there's no shit left around, and get out of here. I'll see you shortly. And I hope this GoPro is picking up how nice this spot actually is. Like, wow, I'm so impressed with it, you know. It'd be great to bring a little, a little uh, hiking tent or just a little tarp to a bit of lean to before the snakes come out. Anyway, this is my track here. Back to civilization. Best get to it. Yo, uh, watched a lot of YouTube over the years, probably four or five years. You know, uh, Joe Robnett was probably one of the first. Obviously started watching a bit of a, a loan from his series on YouTube. Um, Fowler, Zach Fowler, he's another one. Scotty Gone Walkabouts, Australia. Eric Off Track. It's, obviously there's plenty, but uh, they always say just get out there and, you know, give it a crack. There's people like uh, Greg Ovens, <laughs> absolute classic of a man, uh, goes out there uh, with barely anything and, and just makes do and has a great time, shares his experience with us. They always say just get out there and do it yourself, stop watching by the TV and finally getting out there and giving it a crack. So I'm like uh, 10Ks by car. 2Ks by foot from home, like from my comfort of my own home. So this is a bloody good place to try and start and have a go. I want to find some tracks and do some overnighters. Um, get fitter and eat more noodles. <laughs> Man, it's heating up now. For some strange reason, walk back's been a lot harder. Uh, I feel like a swim. Don't have time to run back to that lagoon. Whew. All right, just getting to the road now. I'll spin you around, you should be able to see there's some cars coming through.
awesome. So that's me. Get back in the cruiser. Get the car back to Adam. Go get his PS5. I'll crack again and uh, start editing. <laughs> See you later. Bye, Mum.